So the question is, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, is because Camille, Camille's work is heavily based off of black stories um, and black culture. And so I'm guessing for the dancers that aren't uh, black, how is it taking on that in the piece and performing it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, for me, uh, I went to a high school that was ran by um, my teacher, Miss Woods, she's from African American descent, and I, through her, I learned Horton Afro Haitian movement. And so, for me, after having that background of dance, I was able to take a little bit of that and put myself into a new second line, and um, also just with that sense of community and love for one another, like for the company themselves when they were performing, we watched their rehearsal. It just felt like a family, one common bond of people that were there just having fun with themselves instead of just rehearsing, constantly drilling things. It was as if they were having a party on stage. And so for me with that in mind, having a party, having a sense of community with my peers and really uh, strengthening that bond through that throughout that first week of rehearsing and then the two weeks of just running it and trying to perfect it, it was more of like, we're, trying, we're actually like being it. We're a sense of just a wholeness. And I feel like for this performance, for us to all be on stage together without our masks on, actually having to be able to see our actual presence with each other was just a special moment for all of us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I think for myself, uh, I come from a mixed Latino background, so I have family from all over, Asian, Black, Mexican, Nicaraguense, El Salvador, I'm from everywhere. Um, but I am very, very light-skinned, and I recognize that I have certain privileges in this society. But doing this work and understanding like where certain things are being pulled from, specifically rooted in Black culture, I felt was very, very important to my education, not only as an artist, but as a human being that has similar struggles with other people of color. In this country, unfortunately, there is racism and that goes all over the world and unfortunately we still have to deal with that. But what I loved about this work and I spoke to Tao a lot yesterday and even with some of the company dancers about how this work and doing this work is providing a service for the community. I feel that it's re-emphasizing how we can break away from certain negative stereotypes that have been placed on black and brown bodies for many, many, many years. And it's very nice to see the hope and inspiration brought back to black culture, black bodies, dance, art, everything. For me, overall, this was an amazing experience. And it's one of those moments where, for me, when I was watching rehearsals, I just had the sensation that I wanted to get up and dance. I wanted mm -hmm. to get up and be a part of that community and be a part of the sharing, the camaraderie. What stood out to me the most about the company and their dancers is not only are they professionals, but they're also real human beings. They talk with each other as if they're family, like if they're brothers and sisters, and sometimes they even argue a little bit like if they're brothers and sisters, like, come on, get it together, you know? But. That for me, it just, it just felt like I'm, I'm a human being again. And with, uh, with COVID and having masks, it just felt nice to feel centered and grounded again in a community that wants to spread love and positivity to everyone involved. <laughs>